What's up, Cow Gang? Today we got this problem. It says, what is the unit vector? The negative five plus three j plus k. So, how do we solve this? Well, if you're like me, I like to, I don't like these things. I don't like the i, j, k. I mean, I can look at it and I can figure it out, but I want to put it in like a notation that I like. So we can write it like this. Let's say back, this is equal to our vector. So a vector is equal to negative five, three. This negative k is just a negative one. All right, we've got this. So when we find the unit vector, what is the unit vector? Well, it's like, it's the vector in the same direction, but its magnitude is equal to one. That means its distance is equal to one. So let's say we need to find first its square root value. So the distance of this is equal to the square root, negative five, squared plus three, squared plus negative one, squared. What is this equal to? Let's see, 25 plus nine, 34, 35. Square root of 35, right? I'm gonna check my math on that so I don't make a dumb mistake. Yeah, I did it good. Good job, me. All right, so the unit vector is gonna be, this is the unit vector, basically. Unit vector, this is the unit vector of our vector here. Make sure you label your stuff. It makes it a lot easier when you know what you're working with. And you might end up with multiple unit vectors, so you might wanna label them too. So the unit vector, the equation for this is going to be our vector divided by the distance, or the magnitude, you know, the square root of 35. So basically, it's going to be equal to negative 5 over square root of 35, 3 over the square root of 35, and negative 1 over the square root of 35. And that's our answer right there. So uh, just to prove to you guys what this means, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So let's say, what if we took the magnitude of the unit vector? Actually, I don't know why I have this in parentheses. This is not right. I hope you guys stuck around for this. What if we took the magnitude of this unit vector, right? The unit vector, the magnitude of it, right? So it's gonna be the square root. It's gonna be negative five squared, but it's gonna be over the square root of 35 plus three over the square root of 35 squared plus negative one over the square root of 35 squared. Now what happens if we do this, right? What we're gonna get is the unit vector of 25 over 35 plus nine over 35 plus one over 35. What you'll notice is the square root of 35 over 35, or it's equal to one, therefore, the magnitude, the distance of our unit vector is equal to one, and we just proved it here. So if you ever have these problems and you're not sure about your answer, what you can do is you can just find the unit, or you can just find the distance of it, the magnitude of your unit vector, and it should just give you one. And if it's a one, that means you got a unit vector, and it's correct. So yeah, that's how you do this kind of problem. And uh, good luck on your calculus homework, guys.